ISO files really comes to handy as they hold an exact copy of a disk. If you burn an ISO image, the resulting disk will be an exact copy of the original, either it is a bootable disk, a music CD, or video DVD. If you mount an ISO image, then you will be to utilize all the files inside the image, without having to burn it on a physical disk. The previous versions of Windows does not have native support for ISO files, so the users have to install some third-party applications to mount and burn ISO images, but Windows 8.1 has changed it all. Now, you can mount and burn an ISO image, without having to install third-party applications which saves system resources, and money, that you waste buying third-party utilities. If you open Windows Explorer, and try to find disk mounting and burning features, on Explorer ribbon, you will find none. The new ribbon interface, hide, shows, enable, or disable commands, according to your selection. To mount or burn an ISO image, select the image file, and you will then immediately notice, a new menu on Explorer ribbon, called Manage, under Disk Image Tools. Click on Manage, and you will notice both the commands, Mount and Burn. Click the Mount button, and Windows 8.1 will create a new virtual disk drive, that will open your ISO files, as though you have inserted a physical disk in the drive. Depending on the disk contents, now you can watch a movie, play your favorite music, or install an application or a game, right from your ISO image, without having to burn it first on a disk. If you click on computer icon from right side pane, you will notice a new virtual disk drive, along with your other drives, which behaves exactly as a physical drive. When you are done working with your files, you can unmount the image. To unmount the image, Either right-click on the drive, and click Eject, or select the drive, and from Explorer ribbon, click Manage, under Drive Tools, and then click Eject. If you need a physical copy of your ISO image, then you can burn your ISO image on a physical disk, and it will be an exact copy of the image. Like, if your image is a bootable disk, then after burn process completion, your physical disk will also be a bootable disk. If it is an audio CD, then your physical disk will also work and play like an audio CD. To burn an ISO image, select the image file, and then from Explorer ribbon, click Manage under, Disk Image Tools, and then click Burn. If you have more than one disk burners installed on your system, then choose the burner from the drop-down menu and then click burn. If you make a check mark on verify disk after burning option, then after the burn process completion, Windows will check if the data is properly written on disk and will verify the accuracy of the data. However, it will slow down the completion of the burning process. Windows 8.1 now has made easier working with ISO files.